Today, we are going to study about mole concept. A mole is a counting unit in chemistry. It is a unit similar to familiar units like dozen for 12, 2 for pair, 24 or 25 for choir, etc. One mole is defined as the amount of substance containing as many elementary entities such as atoms, molecules, ions, electrons, etc. as the number of atoms in a sample of pure carbon-12. We can also define it as the amount of substance which contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 specified particles. These particles can be atoms, molecules, ions, or electrons. One mole of any substance will always contain 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 particles. No matter what that substance is, the number 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 is also known as the Avogadro's number. So, or we can also call it as the Avogadro's constant. So, according to this, a mole is the amount of substance which contains 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 specified particles. The particles can be atoms, molecules, ions, or electrons. And Avogadro's constant is the number of specified particles, again over here, atoms, ions, molecules, or electrons, in a mole of those particles. Its numerical value is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. <clears throat> Calculation involving the mole. Some students find it helpful to use a triangle such as shown to work out mass from molar mass and the number of moles. By covering the quantity you want to find, you will see the correct form of the equation to use. So if you look at this triangle, you will see at the top it is mass. Mass, the unit is in grams. At the left side, number of moles. And on the right side, molar mass, the unit is gram per mole. Now, the first thing that we are going to do in the calculations involving the mole, we are going to convert the mass to mole. There are two main steps to convert mass to mole. Number one, find the molar mass of the element or compound. Molar mass you have already done in the previous uh, videos. If you have not, please go through the previous videos and learn how to find out the molar mass. Number two, divide the given mass by the molar mass. Now, let's do some example. Now, uh, the example number one, how many moles are there in 60 gram of NaOH, sodium hydroxide? Again, over here, the question <coughs> asked is, how many moles are there in 60 gram of NaOH. So let's do it. Now, first step is find the molar mass with element or compound. So molar, M-O-L-A-R, molar mass of NaOH, that is sodium hydroxide. We can also write it as MR, short form of molar mass that is of Na sodium hydroxide NaOH equals to if you look at the periodic table sodium has an atomic mass of 23 oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1 so the molar mass equals to 40 and the unit will be 40 gram per mole. The unit is 
remember the unit is very important we have to always see that we write the correct unit so 40 gram per mole now the next step is divide the given mass by the molar mass so what is the given mass 60 gram so 60 gram divided by 40 gram per mole will be equal to 1.5 moles of sodium hydroxide NaOH. So this is our final answer. Let's do another example. Example number two. How many moles are there in 0 0.218 gram of C2H5SH? Now, again over here, the first step is find the molar mass of the element of compound. So, molar mass we can write down MR, short form of molar mass, and name of compound C2H5. SH equals to now carbon is 12 so 12 into 2 plus hydrogen is 1 so there are 5 hydrogen to so 1 into 5 plus sulfur is 32 plus 1 so it will be equal to 62 gram per mole. So this is the molar mass. Now the second step is what? Divide the given mass by the molar mass. Mass is already given as 0 0.2189 gram. So let's write it down. 0 0.218 gram divided by 62 gram per mole and final answer will be 0 0.004 if we round it off moles of C2H5SH so this is our final answer now here what we are doing is moles to mass we are going to find the from the moles to mass so mass we are going to find out moles will be given so let's do it here again we have two steps find the molar mass the element molar mass of the element or compound multiply the given amount of moles by the molar mass so this is the second step is a little different question is what is the mass of 0 0.5 mole of copper sulfate crystals so copper sulfate crystal is CuSO4.5 H2O. So let's do it and find out. So first of all, again, find the molar mass of the element or compound. So here we have the compound copper sulfate pentahydrate. So MR is short form of molar mass of copper sulfate. Cu, uh, short form of molar mass. So what is CuSO4.5? 5 h2o equals to copper is atomic mass of copper is 64 plus sulfur is 32 oxygen is 16 but they are four oxygen so 4 into 16 plus 5 h2o so water is h2 is 18 atomic uh, actually molar mass of water is 18 it will be equal to 250 gram per mole that is the molar mass of copper sulfate pentahydrate so what is the molar mass of uh, copper so let's write it down more neatly otherwise we get confused so molar mass 
of CuSO4.5 H2O equals to 250 gram per mole. So that is the molar mass. The second step is multiply the given amount of moles by the molar mass. The amount of moles is 0 0.5. So let's do that step. 0 0.5 mole into the molar mass 250 gram per mole equals to 125 gram of CuSO4.5 H2O. So finally, this is the answer. So this is uh, part one of the quantitative chemistry that is mole concept next we will be doing part two students if you like my videos my lessons on chemistry please please subscribe and like this will encourage me to make more videos thank you